Hello everybody. In this video I want to discuss one issue when you're trying to connect in by SSH. In particular it is a warning uh, remote host identification has changed and how to fix it, uh, what does it mean. Let's try to reproduce the same problem and let's connect to remote machine by SSH. Type in SSH username at host name I will simply use localhost and the password for your user and now I am just connected successfully which is good and I will change directory to SSH at CSSH and here if I will get listing uh, you will see that there are multiple keys I will remove all of them sudo rm ssh underscore host star hit enter and it will remove all keys on my ssh server now i will just generate new keys to do that i will type sudo ssh dash key gen dash a in caps and it will generate keys of all types again so they will be new uh, so i've just recreated all keys and now i can disconnect from the server by hitting ctrl d and if i will try to connect to the server again by using the same command you will see the warning remote host ID identification has changed uh, so it simply means that uh, we've recreated keys on the server and obviously uh, fingerprint already not the same uh, which is stored in non hosts uh, which you can see from the error message if we will try to open it uh, I have only one entry but there, there can be a lot of different entries so this entry is the problem and to fix it you can simply remove it uh, or just using the command uh, which is specified in the warning itself you can just copy this line and remove non host and remove non host for your host name by copying this command hit enter and it says that one line was removed and it also created a backup which is this now I will clear screen and we'll try to connect to the server again and now as you can see there is no more warning only it says that you are trying to connect to the server for the first time I will say yes connect to it enter the password and our connection will be remembered again in non host and now if I disconnect and try to connect again there is no more warning no more fingerprint fingerprint message and everything worked just fine. I hope this was useful for you and thanks for watching.